Hello traders, uh, hello traders. Uh, today is a special day and I want to share with you the power of the predictive uh, fractal patterns. The title of the video is the mighty Dow Jones versus predictive fractal uh, patterns. The, Dow, the mighty Dow Jones uh, versus predictive fractal uh, patterns. Good morning, good afternoon. Good evening, bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis. Good morning, good morning, good morning. For those of you who are new to us, we are the TSTW uh, 24 uh, traders for predictive fractal pattern trading. Our website is www.dayprotraders.com. All right. So, first and first, all right. I'm going to talk about the predictive fractal pattern. If uh, you are very new to this subject, or if you have already heard about fractal pattern, I want to clear your mind very fast before we continue to avoid any misunderstanding, all right? So generally, when traders are talking about a fractal pattern, they are talking about uh, candlestick, okay, patterns, a specific candlestick pattern. Now, when I am talking about fractal pattern, I am talking about predictive fractal pattern. Now you'll be wondering what is a predictive fractal pattern. Very good question. Now, traders that have been following us for some time, you may close your ears because you heard it before, all right? But for new traders, a predictive fractal pattern is a pattern that is uh, copying itself on various time frames. Does it make sense to you? Okay, let me use another word. A predictive fractal pattern is a chart pattern that is duplicated itself on various time frames. Does it make sense? Okay, let me use another scenario because we are in a computing world, all right? A predictive fractal pattern is a chart pattern that is copying itself and pasting itself on various time frames. So you know about copy and paste. So the same thing is happening in the financial market. And we can use that, okay, to focus the market. I know that a lot of professionals will be banging the table and say, George, you shouldn't be talking about this in a public place. I make a vow to traders that uh, I will share with them the best tips that work in the market. And also, for traders that think that I'm talking a bit too much, I want to help you a bit, all right? A crazy trader can mess up your trade. So you can be a very, very smart trader, all right? But a useless trader can mess up your trade. So there are days when those who are wrong can win in the financial market, which means though you're a professional trader, you make the right decision, the right call, but you lose that day because those who were wrong won the day. And the next day, you see that the price is doing exactly what you expected. My concern is that we want majority of traders to know how to trade so you may have an orderly market. In that kind of orderly market, we usually make more money. Decision, okay, we become more, okay, rational, okay? So majority of traders understand what we are discussing today. We'll be able to make better decisions instead of playing with the stochastic and the RSI on a 15 minute time frame. So let's go back to the main topic about, uh, okay, so this is to defend myself because I know what is going to the mind of, okay, other market participant, okay? So we know now what is a, a predictive factor pattern is not a normal, okay, candlestick pattern. So for a Dow Jones, that's why we call the video today, the mighty Dow Jones versus predictive factor pattern. And I want to demonstrate to you that you need to start learning about the predictive factor pattern. Why? Because the hedge funds are using it, the banks are using it, all right? The private investors are using it. The, the long-term investor, the smartest long-term investor use only predictive factor pattern to enter the financial market. So how do I know? Okay, think of it for a second. Suppose you have two million pounds in your account, okay? And you want to invest all these two million pounds in the financial market. Not only that, that money is not your money, it is your client money. So if you lose all that money, your client will make 
will spoil your name, yes or no, okay? So you will be a little bit careful. So it will make sense to have a bit of idea what the market is likely to do, yes or no, all right? So you will use tool, powerful tool, to forecast, to predict, and to have a bit of idea what the market is likely to do. Otherwise, it's like gambling. If you don't know what the market is likely to do, and you are just throwing money at it, it's like you are gambling, which is crazy, all right? So traders use, okay, the wave patterns to forecast the market, but there is another tool that no one is talking about. The predictive fractal pattern. They are powerful tool, more powerful than the earlier wave pattern. And at the end of this tutorial, you will be busy digging into all my videos about, uh, okay, predictive fractal pattern at the Pro Traders YouTube channel. All right. So you may be wanting to join. Why are you sharing all this powerful tool for free? Because it doesn't cost me anything. And it doesn't stop me trading the way I want to trade. Okay. So I can share it with you for free. Okay. So we can see on a monthly chart, we have a pattern. All right. So now we start the serious things now. Price form a double bottom chart pattern. Is this a double bottom chart pattern? Yes, it is because we have equal low here. And it's a funny double bottom chart pattern because the nuts or the necklace is a funny one. It's all the way up here. This is what I call the nuts on the monthly chart. And then after the double bottom chart pattern on the monthly chart, the price went up yesterday. So we have a bullish trend, which is in the green channel here. Can you see that pattern? Let that stick into your mind. But before we continue, I want to say something else that is very important, okay? When we are saying that the pattern is copying itself and pasting itself on different time frame, sometimes you will see it exactly the same, exact picture, exact size, exact structure on different time frame. But sometimes, because we are talking about the messy financial market, you will see that the pattern may change a little bit. So you need to be, with more experience, you understand what I'm saying now. The pattern may not be exactly the same, but the the outer structure may remain the same. Am I making sense? 70% of the structure will remain intact with a bit of modification as the price is copying itself on various time frames. So what I want you to do for the Dow Jones, remember this pattern, followed by a bullish progression. But where are we now? So... <laughs> Because if you want to trade, you want to know what is happening now, okay? So let's see what's happening now. So a double bottom chart pattern followed by a bullish progression. You don't want to forget that, otherwise you are missing the whole point of the fractal trading. So a fractal trader will keep their eyes wide open without blinking. Pim, pim, pim. All right? So after the bullish trend, are you with me? All right? We have this drop down. So you can see, so when we are looking at a rising channel, how do we analyze the rising channel? So the bullish momentum is very strong. If the price is above the median line of the channel. So here we can see that it was above the median line, which is the blue line uh, between the two green rising channel, the green lines, okay? So this is the median line of the channel. So the trend was quite strong because the price was above the median line. But suddenly, look, suddenly, like a children in the children's story, the, suddenly the price drops down. Can you see? We on a monthly chart. This month the price just dropped down from the, the media line, it just collapsed, spew down. This is where we are now. So I want you to pay attention to it now, where we are. I'm a bit careful to draw a line on my chart. So it drops down like this. That's the first leg. Remember what I'm saying? It drops down. And then it went up. One. Are you with me? Two, are you with me? And then three. So think of an, uh, the fra predictive factor pattern like a story. A story that people are saying over the year. So a story that the price is telling us on different time frames. A double bottom chart pattern was formed. Then there was a rising channel followed by a drop. And one, two, three. Do you like that story? So a double bottom was formed, and then there was a, a, a bullish trend, all right? There, there was a drop, followed by one, two, three. So this is the drop, 
This is the one, two, three. Okay? Don't forget the story. Don't forget the story. So this story, or this predictive factor pattern, was in place on a monthly chart. It's completed. The pattern is completed. So this pattern that I'm talking about now, now has copied itself and pasted itself on a daily chart. Where is it? <laughs> Can you see it? Can you see that pattern on this daily chart? Where is it? Okay, it happened before and it's going to happen again. That's why I'm recording this video today. So this is about the mighty Dow Jones versus predictive factor pattern. But before we continue, all right, I know it's getting a little bit excited now, and uh, you feel like you have discovered, okay, the holy grail in the market. But I'm going to brainwash you a little bit, okay? So when we are talking about market forecast, okay, or market prediction, this is not an exact science. You need to get that from now, otherwise, you'll be surprised how the market will become a little bit messy sometime. It's not an exact sign. It's not one plus one equal two. It's a guide, okay? We are talking about probability, a high chance, okay, a high probability that an event that will happen in the past is likely to take place again. Or, as I like to put it sometime, there is nothing new under the sun, the sun in the sky. What has happened in the past is likely to happen again. And it's happening all the time in the financial market, okay? So, do not use the predictive factor of pattern trading like a size. We use it as a guide. What do I mean by that, okay? We are not here to talk about gambling. We are talking about, okay, investing, okay, in a smart fashion, okay? So, which means... We see a pattern that is formed on an X time frame, okay? In this case, on a monthly chart. If we recognize that the same story or the same pattern is being formed, is developing on another time frame, we have a net, yes or no? Because we say, oh, the same thing we see on a monthly chart is happening now on a daily chart. It looks like the same pattern. What has happened on a monthly chart before? So we know it. So as it's formed, we know the pattern already. All right? It's not a pattern that we can put a name on it, like a double top, a double bottom chart pattern, but it's a, a, a scenario that has happened in the financial market that is happening again. So we have a niche. But having a niche, it doesn't mean go and buy and sell like a crazy trader. We use a top-down trading method. So the, fact, the predictive factor pattern is a trading setup. We always use a top-down trading method to trade it. So we'll say the setup, the signal, and a low-risk entry point without discounting the fundamentals and the economy news. That is the best way forward. All right? Good. So now you get the basic. Let's move on. So the same pattern, look on, the, on this daily chart. What do you see here? Can you see a double-bottom chart pattern? Not exactly the same thing, but a double bottom pattern with uh, the nut a little bit quite high, yes or no? Similar to what we see on a monthly chart. Okay, similar story. And then we have a trend. Oh, it looks like uh, almost the same thing we have seen before on a monthly chart. So in that story, what has happened? The price drops down on a monthly chart. Yes, on the monthly chart, now it's happening on the daily chart. And then it went, it did what? One? <laughs> All right. Now I'm serious. I'm laughing because two, okay. Three. Now, but it continued more, four, five. This is what I'm talking about. Sometimes with a little bit of difference. But will you say that there is a bit of similarity between this pattern and what we see on the monthly chart? I don't want the video to be too long, so I need to move on very fast. If there is something you don't understand, you need to pause the video or replay the video because it's an educational video. This is the good thing about YouTube and the videos. You can watch the same video, you don't understand it, you roll it back, you watch it, you don't get it, roll it back, you have any question, you go to the comment section, you ask the question. That's why I love YouTube, okay? So now, where are we? We are here today. 
Okay, we are here today. We are here. Okay, so we are looking at. Let's remove some lines. Okay, <laughs> now the reason why I'm laughing is because uh, when I start talking about the predictive factor pattern, I see a lot of traders went and mark the video down and understand why because these traders are thinking of uh, the normal okay factor pattern and also understand because sometimes you will say something and it, it won't make sense to anybody but maybe you are telling the truth but few days or few weeks or few months later everybody will agree with you it happens so understand so here we are we are here we have again what a double bottom chart pattern what's going on okay now we have the nut here not too much distorted okay what do we expect the story you know the story we are expecting a rally now we have the trend what's going on in the financial market like this the same thing is happening all over the place it happened here a double bottom a rally now we are here so now you know the story what is your expectation Your expectation is what? Looking at what has happened on the monthly chart, you will expect the Dow Jones, what? To drop down. And then to do what? One, two, all right? Three. Will the Dow Jones do exactly what we're expecting? No. <laughs> it's a messy bucket sometimes. But if, for instance, the Dow Jones is doing what we expected, do we have an egg? Yes. Will it, will, can we take advantage of that and, and make excellent day trading, swing trading, position trading, and even investment decision? Yes, we can. This is the demonstration of the predictive factor pattern by George Beaulieu. Now, the title of the video is The Mighty Dow Jones versus predictive factor patterns. So, as we were expecting Dow Jones to drop down, but I don't think I need to clarify to you that you need to pay attention to because I will be recording more videos about these subjects on YouTube, more and more. The, how the price reacted. This move is fast. Will you agree that this move is fast? See how the price of the monthly chart fast down? Okay, you see this move, the first drop before the one, two, three. It went fast, and we are expecting the Dow Jones to, today, <laughs> after breaking below and retail, to drop fast. And this is what's happening now. So we are on a daily chart now, okay? And today it dropped down fast. Uh, well, well, you can't see. It's not very clear. Okay, let's let's go to the five minute time frame. Here it is. View gap down. So all the price action yesterday, which was the sixth of. Uh, April. I'm recording this video today on the 7th of April 2016. The time is 25 minutes past uh, 3 p.m. The market is open now. And 25 minutes past 10 a.m. in New York on the 7th of April. And here it is. a gap down and running fast down. So you say to me, Joe, that's very good. Remember what we are doing? We see a pattern. But talking about the predictive factor pattern, there are more to it. Sometimes we may see the pattern on a lower time frame. So you may see the pattern on a one minute time frame. A pattern on a one minute time frame can copy itself. You will see now. So it forms first on a one minute time frame, then we copy itself on a 30 minute time frame. So you see that chart pattern that we see on a one minute time frame is being formed now on a 30 minute time frame. It's a factor pattern. Then you will see on a two hour chart. Then you may see on a daily chart. And you may see even on the monthly chart. So it works both ways, all right? So here we see on a higher time frame, now it's copying itself on a lower time frame. Sometimes you may see it first on a lower time frame, and then it will be copying itself, pasting itself on a higher time frame. The power of the predictive factor pattern. I need to mention to new traders that there was a gentleman called Mr. Benoit Mendebrod, a French-American that discovers the fractals and then we have okay introduced that in the financial market we wish you the very best in your trading and until the next time enjoy yourself and be very happy we are the tstw24 traders talking about uh, the mighty dow jones versus uh, predictive factor pattern
Speak to you soon.